Orbital inclination change is an orbital maneuver aimed at changing the inclination of an orbiting body's orbit. This maneuver is also known as an orbital plane change as the plane of the orbit is tipped. This maneuver requires a change in the orbital velocity vector delta v at the orbital nodes i.e. the point where the initial and desired orbits intersect. The line of orbital nodes is defined by the intersection of the two orbital planes. In general, inclination changes can take a very large amount of delta v to perform and most mission planners try to avoid them whenever possible to conserve fuel. This is typically achieved by launching a spacecraft directly into the desired inclination, or as close to it as possible so as to minimize any inclination change required over the duration of the spacecraft life. Planetary flybys are the most efficient way to achieve large inclination changes, but they are only effective for interplanetary missions. Efficiency The simplest way to perform a plane change is to perform a burn around one of the two crossing points of the initial and final planes. The delta v required is the vector change in velocity between the two planes at that point. However, maximum efficiency of inclination changes are achieved at a poapsis, or apogee, where orbital velocity v display style v is the lowest in some cases it can require less total delta v to raise the satellite into a higher orbit change the orbit plane at the higher apogee and then lower the satellite to its original altitude for the most efficient example mentioned above targeting an inclination at a poapsis also changes the argument of periapsis However, targeting in this manner limits the mission designer to changing the plane only along the line of apsides. For home and transfer orbits, the initial orbit and the final orbit are 180 degrees apart. Because the transfer orbital plane has to include the central body, such as the Sun, and the initial and final nodes, this can require two 90 degree plane changes to reach and leave the transfer plane. In such cases it is often more efficient to use a broken plane maneuver where an additional burn is done so that plane change only occurs at the intersection of the initial and final orbital planes, rather than at the ends. <laughs> Inclination entangled with other orbital elements An important subtlety of performing an inclination change is that Keplerian orbital inclination is defined by the angle between ecliptic north and the vector normal to the orbit plane, i.e. the angular momentum vector. This means that inclination is always positive and is entangled with other orbital elements primarily the argument of periapsis which is in turn connected to the longitude of the ascending node. This can result in two very different orbits with precisely the same inclination. Topic: <coughs> Calculation. In a pure inclination change, only the inclination of the orbit is changed while all other orbital characteristics, radius, shape, etc., remains the same as before. Delta V Delta V I display style delta V underscore I required for an inclination change delta I display style delta I can be calculated as follows delta V I equals two sin Delta I two one minus E two cos Omega plus F N A one plus E cos F 
Display style delta V underscore I equals two sin frac delta I two SQRT one E carrot two cos omega plus F N A over one plus E cos F where E display style E is the orbital eccentricity omega display style omega is the argument of periapsis f display style f is the true anomaly n display style n is the mean motion a display style a is the semi-major axis for more complicated maneuvers which may involve a combination of change in inclination and orbital radius. The amount of delta v is the vector difference between the velocity vectors of the initial orbit and the desired orbit at the transfer point. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Circular orbit inclination change. Where both orbits are circular, i.e., e display style e equals zero and have the same radius, the delta v delta v i display style delta v underscore i required for an inclination change delta i display style delta i can be calculated using delta v i equals 2 v sin delta i 2 display style delta v underscore i equals 2 v sin left frac delta i 2 right where v Display style v is the orbital velocity and has the same units as delta v i. Display style delta v underscore i. Topic: Other ways to change inclination. Some other ways to change inclination that do not require burning propellant or help reduce the amount of propellant required include aerodynamic lift for bodies within an atmosphere such as the earth solar sail transits of other bodies such as the moon can also be done None of these methods will change the delta 5 required they are simply alternate means of achieving the same end result and ideally will reduce propellant usage Topic See also Inclination Orbital maneuver